Well, 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 guys, this video is about one day late, but I'm very happy that I saved it because we did get some massive unusual options activity on Meta, which we will talk about a lot further in this video. But Meta put out some really, really bad earnings. And like I said, it, you know, in the videos prior that I've been talking about this company long term, I've said that I think the next couple of years are going to be pretty bad. And I think that as they rotate and pivot the company, that it's not going to look so good. And we can see that the company is burning money to build the metaverse. And I feel that that's just going to continue in the future if you're an investor in meta. But if you're looking at the next 10 years, I think you're more than fine. Now you can see we had the support on the weekly that we've been talking about. And you can see that since since we've snapped this, there is no big block of volume for a very long time. We actually have to go all the way out to the monthly chart. And you can see here now that we've snapped this support, the next level of big volume for Meta is all the way down here at 76, another level at 62. And if we snap 62, all the way down at $25. And something that's pretty wild to think about is that if you invested in Meta for the past since it's IPA or yeah, IPO, since it's IPO back in 2012, you would only be up 160%. That's pretty crazy. That's nuts. In, in basically the past 12 years, you would have only been up 165%, which is basically what the S&P 500 is up. Now over the past one month, it's down 25%, three months down 40%, six months down 41%, year to date down 70%. And the past one year, it's down 67%, which is just crazy. And so looking at Meta, those are the levels that I'm watching. We have a small level here at 100. If we snap 100, there's a long way down. And I do think that ultimately we could really see this thing drop another 40% potentially. And I will be buying. I will definitely be buying this as we continue to drop. But one of the things that I want to talk about very quickly is this unusual options activity that hit on Meta today. We had some on Meta, we had some on Google, and we had some on Microsoft, which I'll be doing standalone videos on today here on this channel. And the unusual flow that hit, when you can see we already have $72 million most active calls today for Meta. But the real ones that I'm targeting is this massive hit right here. It just came in at 3.21 p.m. By the time this video comes out, I don't know, but right now it's 3.50 these are expiring 621-2024. Strike is $90. Obviously, it is a call. It is a sweep, which is what we want to see. And you can see that it's a value of $20.54 million, which is a lot for a single hit. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that just because this flow came through that Meta is going to completely recover. It is very rare, if not maybe happens 1% of the time where a company dive bombs 30% after earnings and then recovers in the months after. Most of the time, you will see the company just kind of consolidate or slowly make its way down until next quarterly earnings. Um, you can see that this happened before with Netflix. Netflix had the same type of situation occur um, where we get this big drop consolidation followed by a push consolidation followed by a push. And so I doubt that we're going to just completely recover on meta, but it is something that I wanted to bring up. I do currently have a p uh, position in meta long term and I have followed this flow here not with a massive position, but I did decide to follow just because they are leaps. It is unusual. And in my opinion, the risk first reward is there. So I hope this video helps guys hit the like button, subscribe, make sure you check out our discord community It's completely free with over 9,000 members. It's only been there for a year, 9,000 members guys. Thanks for all the support and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.